My life has changed a lot since the day of my crash at Riola. Day by day, I slowly regain my strength and learn to live with my injury. 60 months on, I now feel that I'm living again, my feet on the ground, and I'm looking to the future. I have to adapt and carry myself differently without the use of my right arm. Overcoming this has been a very difficult process. I try and put the injury to the back of my mind and live as normally as I can. It's difficult to ignore when I have such large scars remaining. It's a constant reminder of that day. It's the simple things that really test my patience. This is an ongoing issue which has made me learn to control my temper and slow down. If I come into difficulty with something, I usually take a step back and work out a way of which to do it one-handed. It's just a case of adapting and moving on. After studying interactive media in university and spending a lot of my time in my final year researching wearable technology, it wasn't long until I had thought up the idea of creating an arm brace. I can remember picturing myself putting a brace on and riding as if nothing had ever happened. With lots of help from Mojo and the Ability Clinic in Wimbledon, I'm now able to ride again with both hands on the bar. So the inevitable happened on my 26, again at the speed, feeling really good on my bike um, and I had a pretty big crash. Uh, ended up breaking my arm brace and causing quite a lot of swelling to my right arm. Luckily it wasn't broken, I got it checked out and everything was good. So uh, I had about a month, two months off and in that time I've uh, been lucky enough to get a chance to build up uh, one of Orange's new prototype 29ers, a 140mm 29er basically the equivalent to my 26 inch orange 5 I've been riding. Um, so with the idea of this, it's going to make it a bit more stable, help me out because uh, I can't lift the front end as much as I once did. So it should help me get over some of the bumps um, and yeah, hopefully uh, stop me from crashing.